Daily Wire has this classic board game dumbed down to be more inclusive and less intimidating to young people. One of the world's most popular board games is being altered to be less competitive and more inclusive to appeal to young people. Scrabble's parent company, Mattel, announced the move on Tuesday, uh, the first major change in 75 years. The new version will involve of Scrabble will involve a second side to the board that is collaborative and faster paced to make gameplay more accessible for anybody who finds word games intimidating. The classic word game will debut a new way to play the game called Scrabble Together uh, on the flip side of the board. And uh, it'll be for less competitive people. And um, the new version will have goal cards rather than scoring. It will also have helper cards with prompts and clues as well as an option to play on teams. It will also be a shorter game overall. So they're making uh, inclusive board games now. You know, I have to say that you know I, I find this personally offensive on a very deep level as a board game nerd myself. Uh, I take board games very seriously, uh, way too seriously. Um, I take them so seriously, in fact, that m- most members of my family refuse to play board games with me anymore. I have been banned from board games by most members of my family. Um, I have some members of my family that have put me on a board game moratorium that has lasted for like a decade, and I'm not even making it up. In fact, in my family, we had one particularly intense game of uh, Scategories, which is a great game, by the way, and we had a very intense game of Scategories 10 years ago, and it's still brought up um, and used against me anytime I recommend or I suggest playing a board game. So that's how intense it was, and I take it seriously, okay? So that, and is that so wrong? As you know, we here at The Daily Wire are big fans of entertainment content that isn't trying to push a woke agenda into your living room. And that's why you got to go check out The Ballad of Davy Crockett, a pro-America, pro-family, pro-God, PG-13 action adventure that fathers and sons can watch together. In historical fiction from the imagination of writer and director Derek Eslin Purvis, the film explores some of uh, the many myths that helped to create the legend of Davy Crockett. The story begins in 1815 when Crockett's wife falls deathly ill, leaving his young children to survive on their own. The American legend uh, must fight his way back to them across the many perils found in the savage lands of the wild frontier. This film examines the complex 200-year history of European settlers and Native Americans living side by side as neighbors. Long before Andrew Jackson's Indian Removal Act, it stands in direct opposition to the genocidal colonization story that Hollywood loves to tell. Instead, exposes the truth that these two groups traded with each other, intermarried, and yes, sometimes fought as humans do. The Ballad of Davy Crockett is in select theaters now. It's available to buy or rent everywhere that you buy movies. If you want to support films that are decent, family-friendly, and they push back against Hollywood's anti-American agenda, please support this small independent film. Click the link in the description and go check out The Ballad of Davy Crockett. Uh, As I mentioned before, the game Settlers of Catan, I love Scrabble too. Settlers of Catan is is the most important game to me. I am, not to brag, uh, extremely good at that game. Um, Probably one of the top players in the world, I would assume anyway. And there are only three people in my life willing to play me in that game. And one is my wife, and the other two are my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. And we've basically been in a Catan tournament that lasted, you know, it's lasted about, I don't know, it's lasted many years at this point. And if we've played 50 times, I probably won 47 of those games. That's the kind of streak I'm on. And uh, they would dispute that record, but they're not here right now. And of course, there are always snitches in the audience that will like tweet at my wife and say, well, Matt said this on the show. Is it true? Just, just cut it out. So you don't need to do that in this case. She, she doesn't keep track anyway. She doesn't know. Anyway, the point is, uh, I take board games very seriously um, as one of the top board game competitors in the world and probably in history. And then I see stuff like this, and I find it, it's deeply uh, unsettling because it's an insult. It is an attack on the board game community. The whole point is to be competitive. It is to win. It is to destroy your enemies by any means necessary. That's the point. That's why even when I play board games with my kids, I, I don't let them win. None of my kids have ever beat me in any game because you have to earn that. And so I'm on, certainly against them, on a, I'm on a win streak of every single game I've played against them because you got you to gotta earn it. You got to earn beating me. I'm not going to give it to you. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Now, I was playing shoots and ladders with my kids uh, recently, and my seven-year-old was winning. He was about to get to the end, and he, and he landed on the space with the really big slide, you know, that's like you're, it's almost, you're almost at the end, and the slide takes you all the way back down to the beginning. And he landed on that, and he was pretty upset. And uh, my other kids were like, oh, dad, can't he just skip that? He's about to win. And I said, no, sorry, bud. Back down the slide you go, okay? Sorry about your luck. I'm five spaces away from winning this thing. You think I'm going to just let you have it? It'd be tainted anyway. 
I can't let you have a tainted victory. Um, and so that's the way I look at these things. And uh, so this is a, just a, a disgrace and an insult. Hey, YouTube, thanks for listening to the show. If you'd like access to my full show with no ads, you should go to dailywire.com and use promo code Walsh to get two months free on all annual plans. See you there.